hi guys welcome back to my channel hello hi so um i'm really sorry this video is going up a day late i've had a bit of an accident yeah so on thursday i was cooking spaghetti bolognese and i wanted some cheese on top and me being me i couldn't find the scissors to open the grated cheese pouch so i thought oh i'll just use a knife i've done it loads before and i thought yeah it's fine it's fine and this knife wasn't going through and then i thought oh god and i couldn't find another one at the time so i thought right i'll just do it again try one more time and then i'll go search for some scissors went to go through and it went Phew. and i cut my finger so i had to go to a and &E on thursday so this is why it's a day late and yeah you'll have to bear with me because i've got a bit of a partially functioning hand at the moment and i can't get it wet apparently so sorry <laughs> It's a little bit sore but it'll be fine. So in today's video I'm so excited because I have bought the new Huda Beauty um, base you know, products. I've bought the Huda Beauty Water Jelly Primer and I've, brought the, and I've bought the Stick Foundation. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about it. So the Jelly Hydrating Primer retails for £29 and the description says got to um, apply one pump of primer to clean skin before makeup which I do have wait 30 to 60 seconds for the hydrating ingredients to absorb into your skin while activating priming ingredients to provide optimal makeup grip follow with foundation and application as usual so yeah sounds good to me does that and the stick foundation retails for 32 pounds expensive but her products are expensive as we all know so this says now available in a handy on the go stick applicator for in a rush routine or to help create the perfect sculpted look. Huda Beauty's faux filter foundation now comes in the faux filter skin finish buildable coverage foundation stick too. So it sounds like it's a more buildable coverage than the um, faux foundation liquid anyway. So it says it now boasts a lighter more buildable medium coverage all in a portable stick applicator. Also apparently it doesn't have that um, Huda signature scent let me have a smell which it doesn't yes that's a winner for me in already so yeah and I've got the shade vanilla because that's what I've got of the other one don't know if it'll match me don't know so I'm just gonna apply half of the primer to my face see if that makes a difference to the non primed side of my face so you'll have to bear with me I'll have to do all this. It's a good job I'm left-handed, not right-handed, but I do use my right hand for a lot of things. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, that shot out everywhere. Be careful when we're pumping it. Oh, it's really liquidy. Okay, so I've just got one pump. Just do my left side with this. Okay, this feels very liquidy, very water-like. Very hydrating. Okay, let that dry for a minute. Oh, yeah, that does feel really tacky, nice and sticky. Yeah, so far so good. Just looks nice, like my skin. Nice and tacky, yeah, feels good. This is 35ml as well, so mm, pretty decent size, I guess. So I'm not going to do one half with a brush, one half with a sponge. I do think that the with it being a stick foundation, it'll work better with a sponge. So let me just do this side first. I don't know how much to put on. Seems very creamy. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, I think I might have put a bit too much on. Oh no! And I'm gonna use my beauty sponge. This is from K Rose B. Foundation, hundred percent. As you can see, my blemishes are still peeking through. Sorry, Milo wants to be heard. I tend to use a lot of stick foundation so I'm not like the best with 
knowing what to compare it to because I don't I've never really used them I always find them a bit as I was saying I always find them a little bit mm, I'm putting more on because I want a little bit more coverage and I want to see how much it can build I look beautiful don't I I look pretty so yeah oh I've had a bit of a crappy week Especially with what happened yesterday. So, oh, it seems to build up nice. It seems to be giving more coverage over these blemishes. But yeah, yesterday was the icing on top of the fantastic cake of the week that we've had. So yeah, um, uh, never mind. These things happen, don't they? And I'm all right. It could have been way worse than what it what it was. Um, just had to have a couple of stitches done, and yeah, I was out. And I was really fast in it. It was only like half an hour wait, but I could. But I only I were only allowed to wait on my own. Paul had to go back home because um, obviously with COVID, um, there's more restrictions now. Anyway, back to the foundation. I'm really liking how this is looking. I can't see any obvious difference between the primed side and the non-primed side. Not really. It looks fine. Have a look at the foundation then. Yeah, I mean, it looks really nice. I'm actually really impressed with how it looks. I like the coverage of it. It's not too much, but it's buildable. Yeah, I'm impressed so far, and I'm glad that I'm not getting stenched out with that horrible stench that she has on her products. So I'm gonna see how well my usual products work on top of it. So I'm gonna use my NARS Creamy Concealer on top and put a buttload on apparently, because that's the way I'm feeling today. <laughs> Also, my eyes, I have on, I will show you in a second when my hands are free. I use the Revolution Forever Flawless Palette in Allure. It's really nice, really pretty. I was really impressed with it uh, on the first attempt. So yeah. Bounce this out. It seems to be going over the foundation really nicely. Very nicely, actually no issues the real test will be how it wear, well how it looks when I powder down yeah looks really good I'm gonna cream contour I'm gonna use just a my iconic London flat brush it's Filthy. I only washed it the other day. It's the problem when you use cream products. <sighs> so beautiful. Paul is such a lucky man. So lucky. I look fabulous. And then I'm just going to use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush just to buff that in. all blended out. I think I'm just gonna pop a teeny tiny bit more concealer up here. I think I went a bit too ham. What's new? Just in. There we go. It's better. Right, powder it down now. Ooh, the real test. So I'm gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in 05 Fair because I know how it works and yeah, I like it. Oh, it's bloody messy. And then under my eyes, I'm gonna use my Spectrum C07 brush. 
just to powder my under eyes lightly she says and then she puts a a big butt load on And then I'm going to use my other Spectrum A01 brush, which just looks like this, just for the rest of my face. I'll just apply it like I would normally, which is just a nice light layer, although it doesn't look like it. liking this this is looking lovely the powder on top looks really smooth and really flawless yeah I'm this is so far so good the products seem to be working really well with the foundation oh so, I love my hand Look. I'm so messy right I'm gonna use my essence contouring duo which I'm not holding it properly with my dodgy hand which is this Nothing new with my Jaclyn Hill Morphe brush in JH05, which looks like this. And I just dip into both shades, more the lighter shade than the deeper shade, because I am pale, a pale ass. Pale as a ghost. My mum used to always call me a milk bottle. Apparently, my mum used to call me all sorts of stuff <laughs> in these videos. I'd I think I told you my mum called me room face hamster chops in out of a week. Oh, it's a bit heavy. Just a second. It looks really dark on camera, but it doesn't in person. I swear. I'm still going to tone it down a bit though. looks like I just slapped it on so I'm just gonna buff it out with my powder brush there we go that looks better all right bronzer I'm gonna use my new BH cosmetics Belgian waffle palette which looks like this and I'm going to dip into the shade Buttermilk, this lighter bronzing shade. Oh, sorry, and I'm using my Morphe E4 brush. Sufficiently bronzed up, I think. Hopefully. Yep. <laughs> also, on my lips, you might think they're looking a little bit shiny. I've got on the Barry M Lip Rehab because, like, it makes my lips all luscious and beautiful. So for blush, I'm going to go into my Benefit Blush Bar palette that I've got and I've had for a very long time and I'm just going to go into the cool favourite of Dandelion because I think I need to have a pink and I'm going to use my JH06 from Morphe and just apply that like this. No smiling going on here because I don't smile all the time. Well, I smile occasionally, but it's very rare. I'm a misery. There we go, that looks nice. I love this blush. It's been one of my favourites for years and years because 
it just works perfectly on my fair skin and it's just a nice soft flush pink so yeah I love that and then for highlighter I'm going to use my Ofra Star Island which looks like this it's a bit battered JH09 brush which looks like this it's lovely and stained even though I washed it the other day some highlighter on. I'm really liking how the products are applying on top of this um, foundation. It looks really nice. I am going to put a bit of setting spray on because I'm just doing my makeup like I would do on a normal day just to test it because I never go without setting spray and I'm not going to I'm going to give the foundation the best chance that it's got. I'm not going to do any touch-ups though. I'll just do my makeup as I would do normally, minus touch-ups, which I don't really do anyway because I'm lazy. Just put a bit more on my moustache because it's not bright enough yet. So yeah, I'm really liking how I'm looking right now. I think my skin's looking really nice. It's looking really smooth. Yeah. I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter, which is what I do tend to use every day. So it probably is going to have a better chance, but I've got oily skin, so you know. Uh, I'm just going to use the glow one though, so. But yeah. I'm really liking how this is looking. Really nice. So yeah, I'll be back with my makeup finish and I'll give you a little bit more of... A rundown on what I think of this so far and a time update actually yeah I should have probably given a time update the time's 12.05 finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll show you the finished look so yeah I'm back and this is the finished look just scooching what do we think mm. I'm thinking the skin looks really nice Yeah, I really like it. I'm really impressed with it actually so far. So far, like I said. The time is now 12.24. So I probably put this on about quarter to 12 maybe. But yeah, it's looking really nice so far. But yeah, I'm gonna check in with you at the end of the day and see how it lasted. And that's the real test, especially because my skin's oily. I might have said it earlier, but if I didn't, I'm oily, especially around here, my nose, t general T-zone area, a bit on my chin, pretty much everywhere. I get a little bit dry around the crevices of my nose, but across my nose here, I'm quite oily. So yeah, so far, so good. Yeah, I'm really pleased. Oh yeah, by the way, the lashes I've got on are the Tarty Lashes in Profile Pick. They are Faux Mink. And the lip that I have got on is this. This is the ABH liquid lipstick in the shade Crush for reference. So yeah, thank you. I will catch you guys later. So yeah, see you in a bit. Hi guys, it's me just checking in. I just thought I'd show you how this looks in natural lighting. So yeah, this is how it looks. In natural lighting. Still think it looks really nice. Actually a pretty good colour for me, don't you think? But yeah, it looks it looks fairly nice. So yeah, I'm really I'm impressed so far. So yeah, I will catch up with you in a bit. I just thought I'd show you how it looks outside um well not outside in natural light rather than filming lights because you're gonna be wearing this outside in the real world, not in front of studio light, well ring lights, studio lights, photography lights. So yeah, looks nice. Ooh, see you in a bit. Hi guys, I'm back. Hello, hello. Time is now six o'clock in the evening. So this has been on my face for just over six hours. I'm getting a bit tired. I've had a long day. I had a long day yesterday, so I'm a bit worn out. So I thought I want to take it. I want to take all this off now, and I've left it on quite a while. So yeah, I just thought I'd check in. I mean. 
I think it's looking pretty good. To say I'm an oily skinned person and who doesn't generally get along with stick foundations. Um, let me zoom. But yeah, excuse this. My eye makeup's not lasting very well because I'm tired. My eyes are watering pretty badly. But yeah, it's. I can see my oils peeking through a little bit. But it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look cakey. Um, that I've been itching my nose. So excuse that. Let's look at this one for reference. Normally I do. It rubs off there. It wouldn't have done normally if I hadn't itched my nose. But yeah, I mean, all in all, it looks nice. I think the oily part is probably my forehead. Look a little bit oily up here, a little bit round the cheeks, and a bit on my chin, which is normal for me. But other than that, it's fine. But I won't say the oils. Let's turn it back out again. I won't say the oils look bad, it looks like it should be coming through like this and if I get n normally on a day like this I'll just blot it, put a little bit of powder on, just blot it over and it'll look fine but yeah no I'm really pleased with this. I had a look at the claims um, before I came up because I didn't actually have a look. So yeah it's a lightweight medium, well it's a lightweight buildable formula. So it's saying you can have a very light coverage, medium, a strong medium. I wouldn't say it'd go to a, a full coverage. I say it's definitely you could build it up to be a strong medium, but it's nowhere near as strong coverage as the faux filter foundation, the liquid form, which I really like actually. I think it's lovely. I like that I was able to build it up to a it was a good solid medium. And then I just used concealer for any blemishes it didn't cover up fully. But I am really impressed with it. Really impressed and I will be wearing it again. And yeah, um, it did It did say on the website it should last for 10 hours. I put it on for six and it, it lasted quite well for me to be honest. Cause normally, even some foundations slide off my skin after about an hour or two because I get the oils come through badly. But yeah, no, this has done really well. Um, can I see a difference on the side with the primer? This is the side that I use the primer on. Honestly, no. I see no difference at all. Zero difference. It looks exactly the same. So, it's nice, it's alright, but do you need it for what, how much it was? £29 I think it was? No. It's expensive, but you're paying for the brand. You can easily get something very similar from the drugstore. I know NYX do a like sticky, I think it's called Honeydew Me Up, which does a very similar thing. It's, um, yeah, I'd, it's nice, but it's not worth the price tag in my opinion. It's not done anything overly special to my skin. It looks like it's lasted on my unprimed skin just as well as it has on my primed side. So. No, I don't, I don't think it's worth £29 at all. If you want to get something similar, definitely have a look at the drugstore. Now, the foundation, uh, £32. Um, yeah, I mean, it's, a, it's an expensive foundation. Her brand is expensive. We're not going to, it's not what we expected a high price for the foundation, let's be honest. But yeah, I like it. I do think it's nice. I do think if you've got the money and you fancy buying, you fancy trying it, I would because it is really nice and I'm enjoying wearing it. It's comfortable to wear. It it looks nice. It looks it looks more natural looking than the other one does. And if you like that coverage more than a full cake face, then yeah, this is definitely one for you. And again, with it being fragrance free, it's less irritating on the skin. Well, I'll. I'm hoping it will be because the other foundation made me come out in spots, which I have mentioned before. So I'm hoping this doesn't because I'm already spotty enough as it is. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's lovely. Um, £32. It's an expensive foundation. Is it the most expensive foundation I've ever bought? No. Is it worth it? Uh, depends. I would say it is for the brand. You, you're paying for the you're paying for the name, aren't you? Let's let's be real. You're paying for the name. 
Um, you probably can get the same from a drugstore, but if you really are interested in getting this, I would. I would. I do recommend it. I just think. I just think her products in general are quite expensive. And I mean, let me just see how far it goes up. I hope I don't break it. I mean, you do get. That's all the way up. You do get a fair bit of product in there. I think it's a 32.5 grams. So it would last you a while, depending on how often if you used it. If you used it for everyday wear or just for an occasion. Maybe me, I'd wear it for an occasion because I don't like to use high end makeup for just every day. I like to use drugstore because. A lot of drugstore makeup is just as good as high end so you know so yeah all in all really happy with how my skin looks I think it looks really nice it stayed on really well it was a nice creamy formula on my face it was nice and natural at first but I could build it up so it, it gave me the coverage that I wanted um, yeah it, it's nice it is really nice um, I'm not gonna pretend it isn't nice because it is nice and I'm, I enjoyed wearing it like I said the primer not worth it I won't bother. I won't bother spending your money on it. It's an absolute. It's pointless for twenty nine pound. But the foundation, if you're interested in buying it, I'd say go for it if you've got the money and you really like her products. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, that concludes my video. I'm sorry if I've been again a little bit grumpy. I've just had about a few weeks. What with this, this is really starting to hurt me again. <laughs> it's starting to get sore, and yeah, I'm. I'm just a bit. You know, when you're just a bit. But I'll be fine. I'll be alright once I've had a good night's sleep. I think that's what my, my problem is. I'm just really tired. So yeah. But yeah, I hope you in enjoyed today's video. I really enjoyed doing my, my first foundation review because I'm really into foundations. Um, I love reviewing them. I love trying out new stuff. So yeah, if there's any foundations that you want me to try and test and wear for a, probably a bit longer next time because, you know, today's been a bit off, of an off day. But yeah. Please comment down below any suggestions and uh, yeah, I will endeavour to get that ready for you. But yeah, thank you so much. Uh, can you please like, comment and subscribe to my channel? Honestly, it means the world to me. I don't really bleat on about it a lot, but I'm so close to getting 100 subscribers and I know it's not a big number, but it means a lot to me. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> it does mean a lot to me that 100 of you actually want to subscribe to my channel and watch my videos because... I just didn't think that I'd be any good at it to be honest and it really it makes me really happy and it it brings joy to my soul that's so cheesy <laughs> but yeah thank you so much and yeah I will see you in the next video bye